Well, it's the day of reckoning for commercial motorcyclists in Lagos. The ban on operations of commercial motorcyclists, popularly called Okada riders, in six local government areas of the state took effect today. In the midst of this, the state government has assured residents to remain calm and go about their normal routine as security agents are poised to enforce the ban. Let's share an update on the story with you. According to the Lagos State Transport Sector Reform Law of 2018, no persons shall ride, drive, or propel a motorcycle or tricycle on a major highway within the state, and any person in contravention of these provisions commits an offence and will be made to face the wrath of the law. The Lagos State Government had exercised its powers after a security meeting which revealed that a good percentage of those parading themselves as commercial motorcyclists are indeed hoodlums and bandits who have invaded Lagos. Recently, a sound engineer was reportedly lynched and burned due to a misunderstanding of commercial motorcyclists over 100 naira. This necessitated the action taken by the state government which covers six local governments, including Ikeja, Surulere, Etiosa, Lagos Mainland, Lagos Island, and Apapa. Urged by this development, the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, talked security agencies to join the enforcement. He noted that this is a phased ban that the state will embark on. This is the phased ban that we are going to be embarking on so that others know that in a short while it's either to get out or for something else to do. According to a report, many riders in Lagos are said to be from Chad, Niger and other parts of the African continent. Despite this apparent security risk, the decision elicited diverse reactions from Lagos residents. While some are happy with the development, others say their operations should be regulated as they offer some form of value for a state like Lagos. A lot of people that are Okara riders, some of them are graduates. What has government put in place? You know, there are some areas you can't easily get um, transportation and all that. They can do that for you. So highways, yes, they can be banned from highways because of the risk involved. Those who are genuinely earning a living using a Okada and who feel that they can earn a better living, more decent living using any other means, they will be allowed to come into cooperatives that should be formed. They can form themselves into cooperatives, 10 of them, 15 of them, and then they will be able to benefit from the last mile and first mile bus scheme that the government has introduced. But those graduates can come to Legal State Employment Trust Fund, present proposals where they can get some money to go and start their own uh, businesses. They can join uh, Legal State um, uh, vocational centers, those who don't have any uh, certificates among them. The Lagos state government says June the 1st is the deadline and the tax force has begun seizing commercial motorcycles plying the highways in violation of the law. It remains to be seen how long this enforcement will last as many have expressed concern about its full implementation. Theophilus. All right, um, Colonel Johnson, uh, we understand that some riders have, have started emigrating out of Lagos. What's your, share with us your optimism about this ban? So I, I am I'm always an advocate of uh, arresting issues before they become crisis. If the government had listened to us when we were shouting about the level of insecurity in those days, I, I don't think we'll get to this quite my way at now. I, 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 if you look at the statistics, the first quarter of the year, the southwest that used to be the safest zone in the country is no longer south south at, you know took over i think we are you know second or so uh, lagos alone recorded about uh, 14 deaths due to insecurity of course still low uh, compared to niger that had about 450 deaths but we are not in the same zone so when you have issues on ground already it is it is it is it behoves on the government to take the right steps you know to stop this and what the government has done of course, we should support it to ensure that we don't have a situation where insecurity again will become an issue in Lagos State. Government must have the nerves to take decisions. See, in gov uh, 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 government at times, in the when you get to some critical time, 
it is no longer a popularity contest. You must do, you just have to take the, the decision you need to take. Of course, what you need to do is to sell the decision, market it to the people. So if, if, if you notice that most of these guys are not even, they are not Nigerians. You will see some truckloads of these guys with their bikes coming in from some, you know, part of the country. So if they are going back, it's not a crime. It's, you know, it is good for us. All right, Bikio, um, the, the government and the people, of course, the people were torn between what is or what was the issue of morality mm -hmm. and emotions. Morality, no, it is not right that you start riding bike on the, on the highways. Emotions, where are we going to get jobs? We are just, just like one of the respondents said. We are, we are graduates, we don't have a job, and these are you know, ways of making a daily living. Yes, uh, but the, they don't have to ride their bikes on the highway. I mean, you, you may end up losing your life and not earning a living. You know? And when you lose your life, you put your family in misery. So no one should ride bicycles, I mean, or uh, motorcycles on the highway. Go, if you are going, going to Wasi Badum, you get to Baja on top of the bridge. You see the irresponsible way they are riding bikes, you know, dashing across the road, on, across the highway. And if anything touches them, they will surround the vehicle. They may even set the vehicle abreast. In broad daylight, these irresponsible riders burnt down a human being. A human being. In broad daylight, they brought petrol. I set someone a breeze. I was even surprised that the reporter said reportedly something that the video has gone viral. There's nothing reportedly about it. So if we have this kind of individuals, then we need to cage them. We need to bring them under control. This was how bandits, headsmen, and the rest put our country in trouble. Today, you can't move around freely. If care is not taken, Lagos, usually the southwest, will become something else because we are seeing a spike in crimes because of the activities of these people. We are seeing even drug trafficking. We are seeing a spike a bit because of these people because they, are, they now serve as drug couriers. They use them to deliver uh, illicit drugs to people. And look at accidents happening all the time. So we've got to do something. I'm not even... Uh, I want a total ban. It's not a partial ban. Yes. And government, Lagos State government, I've said it before, it is not something that Governor Son will look and not do. Buy these buses, yeah. seven seater buses, eight seater buses, buy plenty of them, right. replace this, uh, for those of them who want alternatives, replace. These motorcycles with right. those right. buses. We've got, we've got, we've got to go. With those we've buses. Got, I'm afraid we've got to go because right, before uh, we go, we've got just something. a few seconds, please. All right. Less uh, than 30 seconds. Please. Yes. I don't think I support generalization of ideas. One, blanket uh, ban. Some areas may need this. Then, number two, for us to say that uh, to provide jobs for some of them. Maybe if you have one or two of them who are graduate, that doesn't mean we should generalize that. Right. Oh, all these bike riders we, are graduate. We, we, we've got to go. Your point is made. Bring your point is made.